Yo, what's up, fam? Man, I hope you guys are doing well. For those of you that do not know me, my name is Chuan Kim. I'm one of the pastors here at The Well and the Church Planting Resident. Man, I hope these weekly devotionals have just been encouraging to your soul. I hope they've been challenging to you guys. I hope you guys are watching these videos and not just watching it, but really just applying them um, to your hearts and to your lives. And man, during this time, I just really want to talk about um, the book of James. Um, and just really want to encourage you guys through the book of James. And man, uh, James is an interesting book. It's a book that's written by Jesus's brother. And they say that it's short wisdom speeches on Jesus's calling for the church. Now, a lot of people say that it's the New Testament version of Proverbs. And I think there's a lot of truth to that. Uh, but there's also a challenge as the church that um, how as a church do we act um, especially in times of trials, in, in times of uncertainty, in times of struggle. As a church, how do we respond? And James's whole premise is the greatest commandment, which is love God and love neighbors as yourself. And that's what he's concerned about. So we see in James's chapters 2 through 5, where he's really teaching about and, and devoting his time to Jesus and asks Christians, how do we act? So in chapter 2, he talks about favoritism versus love and then he goes into genuine faith versus dead faith and then he talks about the tongue and how the tongue can be dangerous and how people uh, talk smack about one another and then they go and worship Jesus with that same tongue and the challenge is that as our uh, with our tongues as being a gift how are we using our tongues through social media through um, the conversations that we're having and then he goes into and talking about um, in chapter 4, the arrogance of wealth of, and that wealth will die. And then he ends in chapter 5 with the patience for Jesus' return. And as Christians, that we need to be patient because Jesus will come again. And I just want to encourage the body, um, especially in James chapter 1, which is kind of like the summary of the book. And I want to read from James chapter 1 verse 2 that says this. It says, Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds. For you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness, and let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. And I think what James is writing here is, is and he's challenging the church, do you guys, when we meet various trials of various kinds, do we look at that and count it joy because it's a testing of our faith? And I think this is such a, practical thing that we need to hear as a church especially in our day and what's going on in our nation with covid and social injustice and all these things and and the question that we want to ask is as christians how do we respond and i think i'm reminded by one of my favorite theological words which is sojourner and what a sojourner is is somebody who is temporarily um, staying in a place and what that, why I love that word, and a lot of times I realize that it, when I'm facing various trials or all these things, I have a sojourner mentality where I realize that I'm only here on earth temporarily and that my home, and the place that where I'm finally going to exist for all eternity is going to be in heaven with Jesus. And I think that's what James is getting at here. He's challenging the church and saying, church, are you being the church is Christ your foundation? Are you looking forward to the day when Jesus is coming back? And are you looking at your, um, your home in heaven where you're going to be forever, knowing that whatever is happening in this earth is only temporary? And he goes on, and, and I think James is just so encouraging because here's a book that we can practically apply to our hearts and our Christian walks. And I hope as a church that we spend some time really diving into the book of James and really being challenged by his words. I know, for example, verse 19, I was just really challenged by this, where it says, Know this, my beloved brothers, let every person be quick to hear and slow to speak and slow to anger, which has just really been just good for my heart to, and a reminder of what it means for me um, to be somebody who pushes back darkness, that I would be somebody who is quick to hear and slow to speak. So brothers and sisters, I hope you guys take this challenge. I hope you guys take um, the words in the book of James to really just challenge your walks. Man, I love you guys. I'm looking forward to the day that we're going to meet again. Love you guys.
See you guys soon.